Welcome back to Prime Time, y'all. I'm now back at it again with another story time. But before we get into the story time, go ahead and get your meal, your drink, your blinds, or your snack into your meal or sneaky link that you will have to call them back because Prime just dropped a new story time. Now, y'all probably like, oh my God, where's Big Nate, y'all? He's on a little break. I want to get him a little break because we about to start this series. And y'all about to see a lot of him, and I don't want y'all to get tired of seeing him, Okay. So I'm like, look, let me give y'all another freaky story time because I know y'all love my freaky story times. Y'all live for it. And I live for it too. So let me tell you about this night that happened. Um, what was it? Early April? Or was it like? It was mid-April, bitch. Mid-April of 2022. No, I'm, I'm on Grindr, baby. I'm on Grindr being a home. And it was so... You ever had a night on Grindr where it was like so many fine motherfuckers like hitting you up at one time? Just so many fine motherfuckers. I'm talking about all oh, types of flavors too, like Hispanic baby, chocolate, white, Asian. I'm talking about I was baby, cause I had posted some new pictures. Plus I was a new profile, cause I had you know reinstalled grinding, cause I took a little hiatus, cause you know bitch, I can't go nowhere for real. And I was getting the beers getting still picked up at my big age, cause I was only at the time I was like what? Bitch, I want to say I was like twenty. <laughs> But still, I didn't want to keep getting picked up by these dudes. Because when I'm ready to leave, I'm ready to leave. And sometimes these dudes be trying to keep me hostage, y'all. So, I I just wanted to wait till I got my car back. Okay? So, you know, I got my car back. You know, it's time to be on the whole activities. I'm on ground getting hit up by all these five men. I'm like, oh my God. So, I eventually run into this dude. Like, like this farmer dude. His literally username on it was like, farmer guy, farmer dude, something like that. Farmer man, something along those lines. But farmer. You know, he had profile pictures, like, he would look good, like, in his cowboy shit, and, like, he just looked good. He was on a horse and everything. Like, he looked fine, white man, blonde, blue eyes. You know, for a white man, he had some lips. I'm like, okay, you know, they not too thin. You know, I can fuck with it, like, kissable. And the body was on 10, baby, body on 10. So, you know, he was being real gentleman. Like, that's what he caught my attention more than these other guys, because they was fine as fuck, too. But the way he was smooth talking, I'm just like, oh, I like this. He was real, like, old school with it. And, you know, I feel like I'm an old soul. So, he really was, like, drawing my attention. Plus, after he sent that me, oh, my God. It was just so pretty. Like, so pretty. It was just a pretty dick, y'all. Pretty little dick. Not little, but, like, I want to say he was probably, like, a good six and a half, seven. We're going to say six and a half. Now nah, we're going to say seven. So, yeah, he was like a good six and a half, seven. Anyway, so I'm like, okay, period. And, you know, he had a bush. I'm like, oh, my God. You know, I, got a, I like a bush. Y'all know me. Y'all know I like a bush, bitch. So I'm like, okay. Because I love a man that don't shave. I mean, chest hair just, it just do something to me, bitch. It get me hot. It gets me hot and bothered. So I'm like, okay, bad. Like, I, I can't wait to fuck with him because, you know, he's fine as fuck. You know, he talking about he your first. I'm like, okay, period. Like, we finna get it cracking. So, boom. I'm like, okay, you can host. He like, yeah, you know, I can host. That's not a problem. I'm like, okay, bad. You know, send me the address. Because at this point, I'm already dressed. Baby, I knew I was about to go outside because it was just too many fine niggas hitting me up. I'm talking about black, white, Hispanic, Asian. All, you know, all the motherfuckers play was hitting me up tonight, baby. I, don't, I was going out regardless. So, boom. He sent me the address. Put that shit in my Google Maps. My Google Maps, like, um, is this the right address? Like, blah, blah, blah. Because, like, when it came up, like, it didn't show nothing. Like, no picture, nothing. I'm like, damn, like, maybe it's a new place. Like, it looked like it was, like, in the middle of fucking nowhere. So, I was a little skeptical because I'm like, okay. White man. Middle of nowhere. Should I do this? Then I looked at his pictures again and I said, yeah, I'm going. <laughs> Because he was fine, y'all. He was fine. So, I'm like, if I die, I die. I'm sorry. So, you know, hop in the web. I drive to him. Y'all, it was fine. It was fine. But he told me he was going to give me some gas money. So, I went. So, boom. You know, I drive. It was like a good 40-minute drive. 40-minute drive. But it didn't seem that long because I was listening to music and vibing. So, when I finally got there, I'm like, okay. This looks weird. Like, I'm talking like, baby, he was giving like very much middle of nowhere. And then I'm like, okay, you know, I could see like a few buildings. Okay, like I feel like I might be in the right place. So I finally pull up. Like it's not no driveway. It's just like it's like is it what's it called? Gravel, like rocks. 
you know, I'm pulling on top of these rocks. You know, I'm, I got an old ass car. Like my car, like very much like. 2005 so you know i'm bouncing and shit because you know i really don't got them shell shocks or whatever the fuck they call it y'all mechanics now i'm on these motherfucking rocks baby i'm like damn you know i know motherfucking driveway in this bitch shit but whatever you know I don't, my gps like okay bitch you here i'm looking around i'm like um am i here because i still looking very much gravelly like what's going on so you know i text him i'm like okay i'm here like where you at so, he like, oh, I see you. Because you know I got my headlights on, baby. I put them bitches on bright. Because it's very dark. I'm talking about no street lights. Nothing, baby. It's dark. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, what's going on? I'm like, I'm not going to get out this car until I see him. So, he like, okay, I'm coming out. So, so, you know, I wait five minutes. I'm like, okay, where he at? You know, I look back at my phone. I'm about to text him again. And then, you know, I see him in the distance. I'm like, okay, that look like him. You know, he get a little closer. He get in front of my headlights. He waved. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me get out the car. Boom. He looked fine as fuck. Even more fine in person. Taller than I expected. Even though his profile says 6'1", baby, he looked... Well, maybe because I'm just short. <laughs> so, like, he was really looking tall. So, I'm like, damn, okay. Boom. Shut the door. And I'm like, okay. You know, he started walking somewhere. So, you know, I'm following him, but I'm not sure a little late. So, at this point, I'm doing, like, a light motherfucking jog. I'm like, damn, he can slow down so we can, like, greet each other and shit. And then, you know, I see him walk inside this barn. So, at this point, bitch, I'm a little skeptical. Because I'm like, why the fuck he walk inside the barn? Because, you know, it was it looked like an actual fucking barn. Like, dead ass. Like, you know, the red barn. You know, white stripes. I'm like, okay. So, at this point, I'm a little nervous. I'm like, oh, my God. But, you know, I got my mace on me. So, I'm not too scared. Because I'm like, look. I got it on me. So, I hope he not finna try nothing. So, he walk in. I walk in. After him, like... Probably like 30 seconds after him. I get in, baby. Tell me why when I walk inside this barn. Baby, it's like stables. Like, it's horses in this bitch. I'm looking around like, what in the gandum style is going in the fuck on? Oh. I'm like, it's dead ass horses. I'm talking about all different types of horses in there. I'm talking brown horse, black horse, white horse. White jays, white horse, white wrist, white horse. I'm like... Okay, like, then, you know, I see him, like, all the way in the back in an empty stable. So, I go to that empty stable, and I'm like, um, and I just was straight up honest. I'm like, we finna fuck in these stables? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh. I'm like, I thought you said you could host. He like, I am. I'm like, <laughs> I start laughing, because, you know, I'm thinking he's joking. I'm like, this is, like, a stable. Like, it's horses around. He like, oh, you know, they fine. You know, he got a real, you know, Thick accent, like, I'm like, okay, he definitely not from Illinois, okay? He definitely probably, like, Texas, very, probably Atlanta, probably, very, very Southern, okay? Very Southern. I'm like, oh, my God. But it was sexy, y'all. Deep, very Southern accent, okay? So, I'm like, okay, um... I mean, it didn't stink. It didn't stink like shit. So, I'm like, okay, at least that's cool. Like, it don't smell like... Because... If it smell like, you know, shit and everything, I probably would have been like, nah. So, I'm like, okay, it don't smell like a zoo at least. It didn't smell like, I won't say good, but it just smelled like grass. That's really what it smelled like, y'all. So, you know, I'm going to this stable with him, and, like, we start making out. We start making out. You know, he picked me up, and, like, he's just holding me like I'm a, a feather, y'all. Like, like, I'm a bag of nothing. I'm just kiss me. I'm just like, oh, my God. I feel like a little bitch. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this white man just taking me. Like, oh, uh, you know, he started kissing on my neck. I'm like, okay. He knows what he's doing. It's not his first motherfucking time, okay? You know, at this point, while he kissed my neck, you know, I'm looking around, of course. The horse is looking. I'm like, oh my God. I hope these horses not going to be watching this whole time. Like, I feel like these horses know what the fuck going on. They probably, like, low key speaking in their horse talk. Like, look at these faggots. <laughs> <laughs> these gays i'm just like oh my god anyway so he eventually put pick put me down you know you he um buckle his belt thick ass belt shit i'm buckle that bitch zip it on his pants you know me just falls out just fall I'm like, okay oh you know i'm kissing on it because you know I'm, it's, it's cute it's pretty y'all it's pretty i'm kissing on it then he like oh put it in your mouth baby i put it in my mouth I started going to town, you know, white man can't take it, he want it. 
Oh, oh I'm like, damn, okay, you being kind of loud. The horse is the lucky child. One horse even peeped in the stable while I'm sucking the dick. The horse like, I'm like, oh shit, like you finna, you finna help? <laughs> but no, uh, I'm just like, okay, so, you know, I'm giving it my all because apparently I got an audience. So I'm giving it my all for real. You know, he loved me. Like, oh, I don't want nut yet. Because, you know, at this point, I'm probably going to be giving him head for about a good four minutes. You know, he gave me some head. The head was mediocre. I can tell he don't give head much. I'm like, okay, um, it's decent. I let him give me head for about a good two minutes. And at this point, like, he turned me around and started eat, eating me out. Now that, he knew how to do that, okay? He was eating me real good. I'm like, okay, okay, oh, oh. At this point, I'm leaning against the stable, and then I end up forgetting that the horses is in the other a horse is in the other stable. So while I'm leaning while he eating, cause you know I'm looking back at him, I just feel like a hot ass breath like hit me. I'm like, damn, like it was so fucking strong that it kind of like hit my head a little bit, like moved the bitch back. I'm like, damn. I look back, the motherfucker horse like dead ass in my face, like we making like eye contact. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, hold on. Like what? I'm like, this horse is too close. I'm like, could you move this horse aside? I'm like, this, I'm sorry, this horse is making me nervous. He's like, oh, okay. So mind you, he naked at this point. He literally takes the horse out the stable. <sighs> that man was fine. Mind you, he still got these fucking boots on. No pants, no shirt. He even took his hat off. Had a full head of hair. Oh my God. Take the horse out. I don't know where the fuck he put the horse. I just know he had that motherfucker outside. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm waiting for him to get back. At this point, I get a little soft because I'm waiting. I'm looking at these other horses. They pretty, though, but I'm a little nervous. So he come back just looking fine as ever. And, you know, he get back to munching and crunching. I'm like, oh, oh, go ahead. He just eating it, y'all. Eating my cakes down. Oh, yeah, by the way, the stable wasn't dirty either. Like, it was probably like a little piece of hay on the floor, but he also had, like, about a good two, three blankets on the floor, too. So I'm like, okay, like... He made it comfortable in here, so it's not like nasty, nasty stable. Like it's it's good, y'all. So at this point, you know I'm on all fours. I'm on all fours. He munching and crunching, eat me out, eat me out. You know I pull out the condom and you know I had some lube in my pocket too, cause you know baby, I can't just let anybody go in me raw. I just can't do that. Cause you know I don't know him like that, but he fine, so we finna get into it. So put the condom on him, boom. Put some lube on it. Put some lube on me. You know, he easing into there. He got to do the three-step. Because, you know, I'm a three-step dude. I'm like, okay, you put the tip in. Boom. Hold it down for a little bit. Take it out. Put some shaft in, like, halfway. Hold it for a little bit. Take it out. Then you put it all the way in. Hold it for a little bit. And then take it out. And so, at this point, like, my ass is, like, ready to, like, take some dick. So, he finally pulled it back in, you know, the fourth time. You know, he started slow stroking. He's slow stroking, you know. I'm not moaning too loud because I'm kind of in pain. Like, it was painful because I'm like, okay, oof, like, give me a second. Oof, okay, okay, yeah. But it wasn't as painful as earlier. So, he's starting to stroke. It's getting faster and faster and faster, y'all. I'm like, okay. Then he got to, like, a medium pace stroke going, like, I'm like, okay, you know, that's decent. At this point, it's starting to feel real good. I'm like, okay, I'm starting to enjoy this. As soon as I'm starting to, like, enjoy it, he pulls out, rips off the condom, and busts on my back. And I'm kind of just like, damn. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh. You know, I wasn't really mad, but I'm kind of just like, damn, like, why would I start to enjoy the bottom end? Like, he nut. But that's okay, like, it was cool. You know, he ended up getting me off. Like, he ended up sucking me off afterwards, you know, flipping me over. Nuts still on my back. I wish he had a towel. He didn't have no fucking towel. So I'm pretty much like, okay, let me just wipe myself off with this fucking blanket. You know, wipe myself off a little bit, you know, flip me over. So I gave me some hair, y'all. Like I said, it was mediocre. So, you know, it took me a minute. I probably did nothing in, like, eight minutes. It took me probably like eight minutes. I know it was in the full ten. It was long, but not that long. So I'm like, okay. Boom, boom, my ski. 
you know, he didn't let me nut him in his mouth. Like, as soon as I'm like, okay, I'm about to nut, you know, he pulled up and, you know, started jerking me. You know, I ski. I'm like, okay, you know, that was cool. That was fine. But, you know, at this point, I nutted. And, you know, I'm a little mad because I'm like, okay, why did you tell me that you could host if you can't really host? I'm like, this is a barn. <laughs> he like, oh, my bad. Like, you don't like, I'm like, you got a girlfriend or something? He like, no, I don't got a girlfriend. I'm like, you got a wife. He like, no. Nah. I'm like, do you got a house? He like, yeah, I got a house. I'm like, so why are we in the stable? Oh, uh, you know, I always had a fantasy about fucking someone in the barn. So you chose to experiment with me? Achieve that fantasy with me? Why me? Like, I want to go fuck on the bed. Fucking house. Well, the temperature is controlled. I mean, it wasn't really a cold, cold night, but it wasn't the hottest either. Like, it was just one level above. It was just, like, just right. It was too cold, but not too hot, especially since we fucking. So, like, when it's fucking, like, you get warm. So it wasn't like a bitch was freezing. I'm like, damn, like, I wish you would have let me know this first. He was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, you good. You know, he ended up giving me my gas money. We get dressed, you know, wind myself a little bit off again with the blanket. And baby, you know, I go home. Me and him, I would say me and him linked up a good two more times. We did. But we didn't fuck in the barn, though. We fucked in the house. It was mediocre. It was cool. I mean, his head got a little better, but it was still, uh, But yeah, y'all, I fucked the barn. <laughs> it was a bad, but it wasn't, it wasn't the best either. It's not like what you would really expect, but it wasn't horrible. So yeah, y'all, I wouldn't say it was the, it's the craziest place I fucked, but yeah, I fucked in the barn. So if you made through this whole video, I love you. And go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe. And hit that notification bell on the side so you will be notified the next time I upload. And I catch you, okay, on another prime time.